have partied out. Maybe you want to stay home. Invite the girls over. Sarah, you have come up with a whole plan so that you can stay at home, bring the girlfriends over, and have some fun. Well, exactly. I find, I don't know about you, but once it gets cold, I don't want to go anywhere. No. I hibernate. It's too cold. I stay in, but I still want to spend time with my friends and have fun. So yeah, invite them in. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about the pressure of makeup and hair. And oh my gosh, tell me, buddy, you can wear stretchy pants. Yeah, I have one crew. We call ourselves yeah. wine and sweatpants. <laughs> and I don't think anybody's actually worn sweatpants, but the offer's always there. Yeah, like, you there's can. no pressure. Yeah, there's no fine. pressure to dress up. But yeah, so this is a cozy girls' night in, and I think you want to start by setting the scene. And we've got this beautiful furniture arrangement here from EQ. Q3. Beautiful. I love, surprise, surprise, I love the color of the sofa. It's this gorgeous. is your signature color, if you do not know this yet, but you <laughs> do it with such taste and class, Thank like you. this beautiful, so, am I allowed to call it mint or is that wrong? What is it? Let's call it whatever, you can call teal, it whatever you want. Teal, mint. Yeah, it's more of a teal. It's this more time. of a teal? I think so. Yeah. So um, you always have that sort of a palette in your decor, and it, mm -hmm. that pastel is, I think, such a nice calming element of the decor. It's happy. It's happy. It's happy and it it's is. cozy. And, you know, we've arranged everything here so that no matter where you're sitting, you're always going to be a part of what's happening. You're going to be a part of the conversation yeah. or whatever's going on. And we've got these fun cushions here, too, from uh, Chapters Indigo that kind of remind us that you can stay home and have a good time. You totally can. Right? Aren't staying they fun? home is the new going out. And exactly. <laughs> totally is. Or the great indoors. <laughs> right? And what I love I have about no these, problem with that. Well, exactly. And what I love about these is you can keep them out all winter, which in right. some cases in Canada could be six months. <laughs> it's half the year. <laughs> depending on how it goes. No, right? they're great. So once you set the scene, you want to provide your guests with something to eat or drink. And I feel like maybe at this point we need a little detox from the alcohol. It's possibly. quite yeah, it's quite possible that you just want to get together and detox on alcohol, but retox on chocolate. Well, yeah, keep, keep it coming with the sugar. So I've organized a hot chocolate bar instead this oh, time. Oh, yes. So you've got your mugs for your hot chocolate. These are kind of fun for your girlfriends if you want to have a monogram on the mugs so oh, that each cute. one has their own. You don't mix them up and share germs. Where are those from? Those are from Anthropology. Because I'm always looking for the mugs with the letter. I think that they're so beautiful. Aren't they fun? Yeah, that's lovely. And then whipped cream, yes. which is a must with hot chocolate. And you can flavor them. So, which I did not know before. Oh, but I didn't you can know get that either. extracts from the grocery store and you add, oops, backwards, one uh -huh. or two drops. Caramel. You can do caramel, orange, cinnamon, vanilla, mm -hmm. one or two drops in your whipped cream and then it's flavored, which is oh, so that's, fun. That's yummy. And then, of course, you need to top it. So, so all of this stuff you can use on your hot chocolate is, are these exactly. little score crunches? Kind of, yeah. Candy canes, yep. chocolate chips, yep. or teal chocolate chips, <laughs> whatever you find out exactly. there. And then, why not glitter? Your marshmallows. Aww. It's edible glitter How'd that you, you do just. That? So you literally just put the glitter in a bowl, and yeah. it, it's edible. You can get it from your um, from Bulk Barn or from Michaels, and you yes. just roll them in there. That's or if so you cool. want to just do part, then you just get a little paintbrush and paint it on. It takes two seconds. See, who needs bottle service when you have this in your living room? Exactly. Seriously. Exactly. This is great. And then you don't have to go crazy with the food. I always yeah. have people bring food, but um, I have some nibbles here. And again, it's store bought, everybody, because yeah. who has time to bake That's right how I now? Roll. I like but I it. added my own icing and sprinkles. Oh, nice. And these, I'm just going to be honest, I bought them because I saw them at the grocery store yesterday and I wanted one. Yeah. And that's why they're here. <laughs> and if I'm really those. honest, I ate three. So <laughs> the tray gets smaller yeah. and smaller, right? <laughs> no. I spread them out a bit more. Yeah. Now I love it with you with your girlfriends. You guys do this all the time, and yeah. you have fun games that you can play. So we do. We all. I mean, a lot of people do games nights. We do games nights too. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a ton of fun. So stack up the board games that you yeah. want to play with your grown-up friends. Exactly. And I have fun with them. Like I was telling you them. earlier, my girlfriends and I, we kind of expand upon the games a little bit and make them our own, <laughs> maybe slightly inappropriate. You but personalize them. We personalize them. Right. Yeah, exactly. And then we have, uh, t going back 10 years, hilarious stories to tell with playing these board games. So it's a real that's bonding, awesome. fun time with your friends. And that's all you really need for a good night in, huh? Exactly. The food, though, is very important. The food is important. Yes. And yeah, like with my crew, everyone has a thing yes. that they have to bring. And if they don't bring it, yeah. even if it's like store-bought, not homemade, then there's... There's questions. They might not get in the door. <laughs> no. And this could be like your thing could be, you know, nacho chips and, and con queso. And that's, con queso. That's actually one girl's thing. That's her thing, but that's she needs to bring that thing every time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem with that rule. No, right. Is this a DIY rule? That's that a you DIY. Made? And so is the mantle. I just threw greenery Ooh, on the very mantle nice. and painted pine cones. Honestly, it could not be easier. This, I forget what it's called, but it okay. lasts a very long time, and I will find out and get it for the website. That's real? It's real. Oh, I thought that was all faux. No, it's real. Oh, that's beautiful. And then the wreath is, honestly, nice. I'm just going to do a little dip in behind here. Yeah. It is, 
you know, you can get a bunch of different sizes. It's a styrofoam ring. Yes. You get felt, you cut them into the shape of leaves. You guys, this could not be easier. And then you just fold it. Yeah. Pin it. And you pin it right into the base. And stick it. Oh, that is excellent. And do that a bunch of times and you're done. That is amazing. So How easy. easy is that? So gorgeous. Easy. Of course, for the fireplace here, we it's rely gorgeous. on uh, Hearth Manor, which is nice. I mean, Perfect. these are the sort of fireplaces they could actually be temporary because they don't have, they can, you know, wheel them in, wheel yeah. them out, which yeah, is exactly. awesome. Thank you very much for that. I'm coming to your parties. I'll yeah. bring my thing. I'm, okay. It's probably going to be a tub of ice cream. Is that okay? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, right from the <laughs> yeah. store.